See, now that we have all this face damage, this is probably when we bring Anna. Th this is so good. This is game winning. And plant food is as good as bring Anna next turn, so once we have this kind of field established. That is absolutely nuts. Get wrecked, dude. You don't just, just take the brain Anna if you... Oh my gosh, he's mill too! He's... he's, he's, he's. <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's a surprise. So today we're going to be doing a fun deck that could be really, really good. This is the Banana Burb deck. So what we started this deck building around is four copies of Captain Cucumber. This is a conjure deck. A lot of really cool conjures, including the Bird of Paradise, which we call the Burb. Uh, this conjures a superpower every single turn, so if this can even conjure one superpower, it'll give you a lot of value, uh, especially if it starts conjuring a lot every turn. And those superpowers are going to be free uh, if you have Captain Cucumber on the field, since he makes every card you conjure cost one less. We really don't need a ton of late game. We're actually running for a conjure deck. Plenty of late game cards. We'll see if it's actually too much. Other card I wanted to use, which we rarely ever use, is the Mayflower. This can sit in the water and conjure you up some cards, which again uh, become cheaper if you have the Captain Cucumber on the field. Uh, both of those cards playing on turn 3 are very good synergy with the Bananasaurus Rex because when you conjure a card this will Dino Roar. Whenever you conjure a card this will also Dino Roar and you can get some Magic Beanstalks, uh, which are amazing. The other thing we're running in this deck is the Banana Synergy, actually running half Banana. Decent early game control card, these buff if you have two of them in hand. The second one becomes a 3-3 if the first one dies. Running a couple copies of Banana Peel, which also conjures a Banana, so it's synergy with all these Dino Roars and the Captain Cucumber in the deck. Bananasaurus Rex is both a banana and again grows every time you conjure something and running brain Anna because it's overall a really great card. Running some bonus attacks because you will again conjure cards and you'll have these big B-Rexes. You definitely need uh, a way to make them finish off opponents. Um, I decided on turn one to run the Mars Flytrap Planet because since we have dinosaurs in this deck, you blocking uh, makes them, you know, trigger their Dino Roar ability. And this will give you extra block meter. Also, you, you kind of want your block meter to be empty-ish by the time you play your Captain Cucumber or your Mayflower. Because uh, you don't want the damage that they do to your opponent's face to get blocked. Or else they do not conjure a card. So that will be a little synergy there. Black IP. Overall amazing. Let's get right into the games. Here we go. Here we go. Friday, like plants or zombies more. It's really, I, I equally, really... This game is, uh, in my opinion, really balanced. People saying the tournament plants won more than zombies, like significantly more. But uh, I don't know. It could be that's just because of the types of decks people are running. Um, so we got against Brainstorm, two Captain Cucumbers is not overkill. I, I think this is okay. Should I get rid of the half banana or maybe... I mean, what, what do I really need more? Nothing. We'll be able to use this later. Tennis champ. The question is, should I kill this and protect her face? Nice aggro deck. I think I'm just going to do this. We're probably just going to play this in the water, buff it to a 4-4 again. A really difficult card, and then start triggering Dino Roars. And... Heck yeah. Again, environments, you don't need an environment every deck. I used to always be like, oh, you need environments in every single deck. Um... I feel like, especially plants, since their environments can easily get countered by zombie environments. Zombies have less say, they also have cheaper environments, which is... Uh, might be the, the biggest, just pure oversight in this game. The fact that zombies not only have less say with environments, also have cheaper environments. They have one cost. It's just, I don't know, man. Especially for Green Shadow. Now, if you have a hero that has really good environments, then you consider it. Spikeweed sec Sector will get value in any deck, but... Um, that was not a good play. Now he can't even buff the paparazzi, so that dies for free. How did he play this? He just really wanted the superpower. Oh, bet. Sorry. If you think this deck will go 8 and 2 vote yes, sorry, guys. If you think this deck will go 8 and 2 vote yes, 7 and 3 or fewer vote no, voting starts now. This is going to be hard because this is a sort of a meme deck, so you be, may be tempted to do no, but really, the quality of cards, other than maybe Mayflower, the quality of cards in this deck are actually really, really high. Um, we're also getting some, <laughs> getting some cheese. <laughs> Look at this Triceratops. It's crazy. That'll be a 3-5 this turn. 
We're also conjuring two cards, each of which, wow, that's a good HG super, each of which will cost two less, which is crazy. That's the one he goes for, I guess that makes sense. Honestly, the Triceratops is going to be a 4-6 at the end of this turn. It'll do three Bullseye. He should have killed the Triceratops there. It's a lot better than the 4-4 four, four Lima Florida. That one leaps. Okay, here's a 4 cost Dam. 4 cost Dandelion King. It'll do 5 damage. 4. Uh, we also just got a 3 cost Gatling P. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here comes the Yeti. Here we go. Here comes the Yeti. And the Yeti. I know why. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's a pretty good jump, champion. <laughs> it negated all this stuff. I should probably just go for the win here. I guess we'll go with, well... Okay, how easy will it be to do four damage? I think we'll take the five. We'll just take the five. He'll need, I don't know what he want with one cost. I don't know, does he have a chop in here somewhere? It just makes plant food able to win pretty easily. If we just take, even if he somehow counters this. He has one cost beat me up, we still win though. Lima Pluridon is not a, um, it's not a P, it's a bean. So that's why we had to do the black AP. Heck yeah. <laughs> Gleeful. That's what I'm talking about. And just like that, we is one and zero. Heck yeah. Someone remix Fry saying, "Here comes the here comes the Yeti, here we go. Here comes the Yeti, Yeti Yeti." <laughs> I'm cringe. I think we need to go for some more early games. So Jesus says hi. Wow, nice name, bro. Uh, it'd be sad if we want. Okay, this, that's way better. And so this will either even trade. Or we'll win the trade. Either way is good. We win the trade either way because we have a, a banana in our hand. Are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> My guy loses the trade. There's not a whole lot of two threes in that in that pool. I mean, percentage-wise. Damn, that sucks. Let it blow. Let it blow. Uh, I think this just goes face. Don't forget Acid Rain. Yeah, just remix all the songs I sing. Why are you running Mayflower? Because it's a Conjure card. It has Synergy, I guess. Le Conjure. Synergy. What is this? So this is going to probably... Okay, let's think practically. He already showed us Mustache Waxer, and he didn't play the, the Mustache Waxer we blew. So this is probably a 3-drop. It, it's got to be Gentleman Zombie. The other options are... A drone engineer teleport. Maybe it's teleportation zombie. I think this is gonna be good either way. It's gentleman. Get read like a book. And he bonus attacks. So it's a two for one. <laughs> Such good value. I'm not saying the bonus tag is a mistake. It's just cringe. Um, this would be cool if we would have blocked here. Well, okay. And we guarantee block. We guarantee block on this B-Rex, which is nice. We've actually rolled all two ones, and we're just, opponents still at an empty block meter. Incredible. Definitely B-Rex here. Uh, the Garg He's probably not running anything with Gargal, just synergy, so... Luckily, that's not a problem. If he has Garg face, that'll be sad. This gets blocked. Okay. That's a, that's a decent 4-drop. I'm getting it done. Oh, we had an active ability. See if he's leaping it again. You don't care what the stats of that card are. You just want it to do something that remains on the field. And oh boy, did he! Rar. This is a lot of damage. God damn. 
See, this doesn't, it doesn't charge block me here. Okay, now he's rolling the threes, but he's down to four in the meantime. God damn. Good damn. So we have Bananasaurus Rex Freeze is probably the play. It's better than the Burb, right? Probably taking five to face is better than this dying to Bungie Plumber. Oh, we have, uh, yeah. That's a lot of damage. He's getting some good eggs here, but it's just not really the same as a 2 1, I guess. He bungees. See, that doesn't die now. It's still hitting face. Uh, I think it's guaranteed lethal because right now, summoning and backup dancers doesn't do anything about lane four, and then there's just telepathy and Eureka he used. So it's guaranteed. If that lane was empty against a guy, but the double strike just makes it impossible to do anything. And, uh,. Yeah. Mars Flytrap getting it done that game, though. Really giving us all that block meter and stuff. Heck yes. Stack's doing pretty damn good. I think half banana into just, like, two other bananas and maybe some banana peels is underrated. We, we always use that as a meme strategy, but at the end of the day, I mean, half banana really just wins a trade against anything. Bananasaur Strike starting at 4-4 is a huge problem. It's really hard to deal four damage in this game. Uh, we're gonna do the anti Amorticia shenanigans. Do we do we dish this right now in search of a one? This isn't even necessarily gonna be the best four drop, and we already have a three. I'll get rid of it. Oh my gosh! Okay, <laughs> that's a good hand. <laughs> uh oh. So we're passing turn one. We'll save this to protect the black IP. Summoning into Gladiator would have saved him. Okay. Barely. Black IP against Immortician. This is an absolute nightmare. There is nothing that deals with this. Zero. Zilch. And there's just... It counters everything she wants to do this turn. It has to pass because... Even playing Cryobrain, I... Maybe you go for it if you have a great play the next turn. But usually it's just... Complete and utter sadness. I'm going to play this around Acid Rain here. It's also nice. It's on the left, so it buffs the B-Rex no matter what next turn. Here's Teleportation Zombie. Again, a really sad play. We're gaining all this momentum. We're going to get this awesome card in our hand. Heck yeah. That, that'll that get a lot of value, especially since we're developing this board. Bird of Paradise. Look at the curve. And we still have a Brainana on top of everything else. Brainana to boot. So this will be a 4-4. Not even an easy thing to to counter this turn. See, that, that'll even trade now, as long as he doesn't roll a 3. Please? Yes. He does draw a card on it, but... Again, we're... Oh my gosh. We've got so many options. You know, I should have actually considered... I should have considered Ping Mayflower and actually kill this card. Keep this around. Uh, yeah, I probably just actually goofed. How do we do this now? Honestly, teleporting in minions sucks against this, and rocketing really sucks. Should I just go for the for the Mayflower though? I mean, this doesn't necessarily. He's probably tele. He wants to teleport a minion here, so that's why this play is so good. I think I'm just doing this. Really, now he has to play a trick to counter this. There's no five drop that's going to deal six damage here. And once you play a trick, now Black IP becomes a huge threat. So these two are synergy? This plays around... <laughs> sort of. All three of these are just... insane. He can't even do anything to just remove the Black IP here. Okay. Okay. The blocks. See, even Acid Rain or Evaporate doesn't do anything because the teleportation dies either way. You might as well just hold it. Heck yeah. If our opponent passes, we are going to Brainana him. It's a two-cost card, so it's definitely a teleportation zombie. Here comes Libran. 
Okay, so this will have six. I'm just wondering if this is probably going to be a teleport Zombot deck of the sorts. I just wonder if this is an this is enough. We're not doing the six damage, which is. Uh, I think we might have to bring Nana a different turn. I, I'm really considering not bring Nana for it's six brains. It's not eight. Hold on, I, I can't. I can't right now. Have you ever considered using Dark Gargoliths plus Zombit 9000 to destroy all plants? Yes, when I've tried begins? that before. It's it, think about it. Okay, it's insanely cool. hard to pull off. I'm actually not brain nanning. I'm just putting too many threats on the field for him to deal with. Like, for real. Oh my gosh, that's so slow. He's got three brains now to deal with this. And the banana is in hand. It's better in hand right now than it is on the field. Oh, drawing cards there is just the end. He, uh, he had to use six brains to make tempo back that turn. There's no way anymore. There's no way. I'm going to use the brain. He wants to teleport in Zombots and stuff like that. So I'm going to use the banana to deny that. That's like the main tool. That is not going to be enough because that's still giving us free superpowers. Oh my gosh, that was a sad play. This is quite sad indeed. Oh, the four cause burp. This is burp city. Okay, so we'll see what we get for free. I also pinged his face there with the super because that's a, is good. In, in a teleport Zombot deck, that's as good as that's going to get. See, now that we have all this face damage, this is probably when we bring Nana. Th this is so good. This is game winning. And plant food is as good as Brainana next turn, so once we have this kind of field established. That is absolutely nuts. Get wrecked, dude. You don't just take the Brainana if you... Oh my gosh, he's mill too! He's... <laughs> oh, it just makes it so much better. That was guaranteed lethal, man. Get wrecked! <laughs> Heck yes. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Oh, man. Oh, man. Serena. Um, I guess that'll be the... That'll be the, the highlight intro. <laughs> Heck yeah. Where is my duck? Mmm, that was fun. <sighs> today is, if you're watching this on YouTube, today's March 6th. We're, we're catching up. I actually have some editing help for the daily videos. I don't know if you've noticed, they're coming out a lot faster because I have a dandy who's actually helping me with that. Um, intro game. Brilliant. Get wrecked. Brain Nana, man. Pulling out the big stops. Man, I love this hand. Do we keep the second cucumber? Or do we go for a one? It's probably overkill, right? Come on. That's, that's such a great hand. This is such a great hand. I'm going to set up the Mars first, actually. Uh, Mars goes on the ground. Again, the, the, you want to save the Heights lane for something that's going to... Um, you know, die badly to laser base alpha. That's the only real thing you're worried about with HG. Unless for some reason they're running Moonwalker or Chimney Sweep, which is like one out of every 100 decks do that. Do you even edit in these videos? Well, it's just take it's 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 just like it, it's it's just a little bit of work. You're right. It's not a lot of editing. You take the highlight intro, you you copy it and put it at the beginning. You know, you cut the beginning of the end of the stream, you add the music and the, you know, just like the outro. It's, it's not a lot. It's each, each one is like, it's, it's 10, 15 minutes of work. It's not a lot. But just to, honestly, uh, the reason I actually got some editing help, I did recently. I'll tell you guys why. The reason I did that is because, um, 
I just, to take one more thing that I have to do every day off of my shoulders, again, as a streamer, it's like the streaming, it's the roast writing, it's the roast recording, it's just so many things and then the other games I'm trying to play, it's just like one fewer thing on my head was def definitely a huge help. Like Thanks just to Dandy for helping me with that. It's just a short term thing. Short term plan. What is this? Samich says, highlights more like fry lights. That's right. I should name one of my highlight comps then. So what did we get? We got Pine Clone. Um, see, the only, the last turn we're gonna be able to Pine Clone is literally this turn. Is he going for some, oh my gosh. He's going for some Bad Moon Rising crap. How did he do that? He just played, oh, it's crazy. It's three? Wait, this was turn three, right? So now in turn four, he gets four, five, Six, seven. How did he get to nine? He must have played multiple buried treasures and a cryo last turn. Okay, this is the last turn we're ever going to possibly be able to play this pine clone, I think. I should probably just go face, though. This is more damage. It really is. And then we can do this next turn. You know what? If somehow he gets out of this turn. Plus, there's always, like, the supernova garks. This should be fine. That was one cost. Oh, because he hit, played HG power. Oh, that's why. Everything costs one less. Oh my gosh, that's when he ramped to nine on turn four. K, that loses the trade. I don't think he realizes Captain Cucumber's hitting face here, unless he's bouncing this. Backyard bouncing this one right now would be pretty sweet. No! Oh my gosh, the misplays! He doesn't know how it works! <laughs> Feels bad, man. He burned five bra- He burned five brains. It, that was so scary. He had nine brains to spend, and he burned five of them. Now he realizes the mistake he made. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Okay, that's going to the fail go. That's going to the fail go. Concedes. <laughs> that was pretty sad. <laughs> Quite sad indeed. <laughs> yep, it's going to the fail count. Oh, is it going in the fail count? Uh, we're four and all right. Heck yeah. This, this just feels like a 10-0 deck. I don't know why we're playing against ranks. This is actually rank 30 because the season reset recently, but still, even when ultimately playing against rank 30, it's like, well, capped at rank 30. This is a cool hand. Should I keep, just keep this? Yeah, it'll be fine. Especially if we like get in big in. It just makes this curve insane. Uh. Sandwich. Hey Fry, can you pleasantly smile at the camera? I need it for a meme. <laughs> there. How was that? <laughs> Sorry. Okay, is that pleasant enough? Is that pleasant? <laughs> Heck yeah. I don't think you want me to pleasantly smile. I think you have to catch me smiling naturally. It's gonna look way better. When I smile for a camera, I look like... <laughs> I look like I'm trying too hard. I have no idea how to take photos. Not gonna lie. Uh, this seems like just overkill. I don't think we do it. I don't think we do anything here. Probably like Pringles. They're not bad. They're bad. Favorite genre of potato chips without the flavor is gonna be like the... The, um, like the real kettle cooked, like the real thick, the ones that you just have like bite into. Those are fun. Favorite flavor is definitely, um, 
Uh, definitely salt and vinegar. Those are good. Pretty damn good. Alright, this will hit. Proc the block. Heck yeah. Do we have a big crowd? It feels like we have a, like 300 people here. We have 326. Not bad at all. Sunday. And we're playing a, a meme a meme deck, that, which is dominating. I feel like that's a recipe for having a lot of people here. <laughs> all I'm trying to say. This could work. Wow, did we just roll double ones for real? We didn't. We actually wanted this to proc the block, but he just played Brain Vendor and passed. The, oh no, he played this one. But why did you play? The, why why play the Brain Vendor? Aha, you play Chicken into it because then if I move this, which I won't, then it'll free up the environment. The man has a trillion IQ. Um, I'm just playing you and you here. We want this one to proc the block. Tomb Razor, okay. Why not play that dry at least so it has a chance of hitting phase? I'll ask. Probably you're my favorite streamer. You guys are so nice. Okay. So he spends that to kill the That double man cost me one. That's like that's way more valuable than his superpower, so I'll take it. These now, the Captain Cucumbers aren't hitting face, they're hitting minions, which means it can't get blocked. So we're getting two legendaries that cost two less, which is insanity. We're also putting beanstalks. Okay, okay. This is turn six? It's turn five. <laughs> it feels like it should be turn eight. Okay. So what are our options? We can spam... Well, I guess, well, we can't actually kill the half banana. I guess we just spam verb. In fact, we should shove this back into the environment. This has to be play a zombie here. It can't be... Oh, come on. Idiot. Thank you, Calamity Dog, hey, for a thousand bits. Nice, 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 nice. You know it. You know it. We're making a special one. We as in me and Slage. Le et I don't know, man. Just burb? How about we just burb and call it a day? Heck yeah. I don't care. I guess these two would have actually even trade. I probably should have played it here. Huh? 5x combo to go with it. Hello, L. Thank you so much to Calamity Dog. You're so generous. God damn. Um, alright. We're gonna get milled here. But we have... I mean, we'll probably just Colonel Corn. That's a lot of damage. He has all this whole field, but it's not going to really matter. Maybe we'll conjure a mushroom. I don't know. Just play a couple more non-gravestone minions. We'll be fine. <laughs> Plus no swabbies. <laughs> this is freaking devastating. <laughs> See ya. I don't think that... Okay, let's say things go left to right. I think he actually gets a swabby in here. I'm guessing he does. Things die from left to right. And he gets just the swabby on the left. Game mechanics. Um. Hey, Captain Livebeard. Someone did my mom glad I'm born watching my favorite streamer. Live. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? How did he kill my my Colonel Corey? Chopped it. Someone did my mom. How quaint. How quaint indeed. Poor Swabby. He's all alone. Poor Swabby indeed. I think we should just take this guy out of his goddamn misery. This doesn't actually kill him though. It does kill Swabby. Is he gonna Bad Moon Rising me? Alright, screw it. Die, Swabby! I love <gasps> being generous, and now with these you can buy a solar flare body flare. Aha! Thank you so much, Clem. What? Did you just do another 1500? Thank you so much! What the heck is going on? And it got stonks with a full hand here. 
Jeez. This man just donated all these bits. What the heck is going on here? Regards to your mom. <laughs> you can't say that, Fry. Not nice. A level 3 hype train. Uh, why am I BMing this guy? I feel bad for him. It's rank 16. I think I should concede to this guy. It's guaranteed lethal. You know what? Welcome to PvZ Heroes. I'll, I'll give the guy the star. I don't need it. He needs it. <laughs> Clearly needs it. No. Don't say that, Fry. No, that's not nice. We'll give him, we'll give him the star. We'll do, do something for charity today. That's in honor of the $30 this guy just donated. Jeez, guys. Heck yeah. There, now I can convince myself I'm actually a good person after BMing everyone. Listen to him by a femboy rustbolt body pillow. Best purchase of my life. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We should make an incentive for that, you know what I mean? Well make which body pillow should I should I buy? Solar flare or rust bolt? I don't know, that femboy rust bolt, that's sounding pretty hot, not gonna lie. Is your Smash budget going viral, Dex Devival? Yeah, sports going viral. That's fine. I would I would go for py for pirates though. Headstone Carver, pirates, and your only expensive card is gonna be Flame Face, which you don't even need at first. Um, that's gonna be the better deck. It's also it's also is it cheaper? There's kind of like no until you buy Flame Face. There's not not even any rares you need for that really. And then it sort of sets up for top tier decks, which is the same thing except the you add Pogo Yeti Mug. So I'm gonna say. I think this is better, by the way, to be hitting face early. I didn't even think if this should go on heights. The sort of player on Acid Rain. Sure. If he passes, I'm gonna go Black Eyed Pete instead of this play because I don't want to get Extinction Evented too badly here. The great hand just with these one drops. Mars Flytrap is this card that just seems so good, but it's just so outclassed by a lot of other one drops Nobody in the game. Listen to him by a femboy, huge, gigantic, body pillow smile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that one sounds like the best so far. Not gonna lie, this is cool. This is cool. And we don't definitely don't want this getting acid rains. Wow, that's such an expensive way to deal with a two drop is play a three drop minion. Can we actually not pull three? Oh, that would have that's a huge block meter swing. Because that would have stolen. If that would have won, we could have hit him another time here. This is a oh, so it gets frozen. Okay. Okay. It's alright, we're still way ahead. Snoozing? This man is snoozing. Jeez. <coughs> See what we get? I'm just doing the dino room. Ugh. Just like this. And don't blow. We got five cross brain and another. I'll live and take. This is okay, this cucumber can die. It's a rock. Wow, I'd love to hit him with this here. I guess it's brain Anna. It looks good. I think we, we do it this way, so we'll almost for sure. Um, that's five class brain and I love it and we can hit him with it if he passed this turn I'll probably pass another turn and we're hitting with the six class brain and again. This should uh Wow, he's rolling all three <laughs> he's rolling so many threes Did he roll triple threes there? He had three on his block. I think he rolled triple threes, which even though we stole one it still didn't work toxic we're not going to be able to do the Brainana synergy, I don't think. We probably just Brainana here. Well, it's only burning four. Maybe we don't. Maybe we put some tempo on. I think this is fine. I think this is fine. We'll actually have a thicker Brainana now. He 
He could rocket the four or five. <laughs> That's okay. Ah, okay. Investing creature resources. It's all right. Now, 2 plus 5 wins. I think this is guaranteed, because even if he rolls double threes now, unless it's a pogo, this should work. Uh, oops, I, I played the- I literally played the wrong one. This was supposed to be the Mars. Oh, it's Gabby, okay. Oh, man. He actually gets frozen. Oh, that's so funny. He gets frozen, but he grows. He rolled a 3. What is with this guy? This man and his block meter, man. He rolling some threes, boys. Damn, this should have been Mars. Okay. I'd love to get the nurse here. It's lethal if we get it. Come on, man. He already used freeze and acid rain. It doesn't really, really matter, right? We don't want the B Rex here. Just spam. How would I share my creation with you? Oh, uh, just Imgur Link. He made a meme. What pl budget pyrotech do you recommend? Just super brains. Just headstone carver and as many gravestones as you can. Especially swashbuckler, monkey pirate. These are cheap cards. Sneak stealthy imp. Kind of smoke bomb. I can upload it. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh yeah, we got him. Okay, I'm gonna upload the Infinity. I have to do that. It's it got like lost in the mix with the new editor, so it like was too old, so you couldn't copy it from Twitch. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to upload that soon because that's a really important day. We ran chickening in that version. We're six and zero now. Man, this deck is kicking it, kicking it. I like the Brainana, both because of this is fine. See, the Brainana, against Brainstorm sometimes anyway, you keep in your starting hand, but now that we're starting with half banana, it just justifies it. Plus, we have other early game. If we didn't, I'd probably have to get rid of the Brainana. But we, this is more than enough early game to, to go. So if he plays, it's half banana. If not, it's just the Ligma. You love to play this again in front of something. Playing this dry, it doesn't get the, 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 the value. Even teleportation zombie, it's fine. Get it within reasonable range and then buff this. <sighs> I don't think I freeze here. Still doesn't look like a good freeze. This should be fine. Well, no, just pinging block meter. It's a dog. Now we dog ducks. Now we have a bring out up to five four. What do you think about hacking this game for sparks? Look, that's a. I'm no rabbi, but uh, I I wouldn't do it. I know I look like a rabbi with the beard, but. I'm not really qualified to give you spiritual advice. <laughs> Morality advice? Maybe. I wouldn't do it personally. I never have. Even though, trust me, if I wanted to. Um, I guess we don't want him actually playing another minion, right? So, we'll do this. We want his lane, his his uh his board to be full, so he can't throw these on life. I almost brainlessly made the trade, the winning trade, which is not correct. That's a pretty good card right there, man. That's cool. I guess this one. Instead of going face for it here, I think that's still right. He's really doing a lot of damage here. I don't like. I think this is fine, because even against Bungie Plumber, we can sometimes get Super, uh, Freeze, and Biggin, and Holoflora's last card. 
Yeah. Bungie's this one. Final. Uh, final is probably going face here, actually. Okay. I. Uh. Okay. I sometimes block and get super, which would be really good indeed. Rolling the three, blocking. Oh, it's blow. It's not hole floor. Why do I think it's that solar floor, that screen shot? I still don't have it straight, man. Zombies two Chinese version. I think we take the one and three, right? Uh, yes! Wow, we're so lucky. <laughs> what did you say? Wait, what was that? Something about the Chinese version of Plants vs. Zombies. I think I've seen that before. It's just like a knockoff. Direct knockoff. That's terrible graphics. Have you heard of the Plants vs. Zombies 2 Chinese version? No, I don't think I've heard of that. We're down to 6 health though. I mean, this is scary. This is scary AF. Um, if he passes, Whew, drum major. Okay, but he went. He, it's no, no, Brianna. Anyway, he went down. Two, two, and two wins. Okay, so this will be two and five. So does this is this guaranteed lethal? Plant food is guaranteed because it's six plus six. We didn't even need to freeze. Stunts. Look at this deck, guys. Hundred decks underrated. It's a really good game. Uh, that could actually screw it up if we play that, because then he could California roll, or he could just roll normally. Actually. Got him. <sighs> Heck yeah. You're playing this deck and you're 6 and 0 too? Damn. That was 7, right? <sighs> it's a fine hand. A fine hand indeed. Again, between these two, getting the Boogaloo really hard to deal with. Can deal with the Lima fine. I guess Bungie and exactly Lightning Bolt. There's ways of him dealing with this hand and then exactly an extinction event or a nibble, but he's gonna have to have a perfect perfect hand to counter this. Are we eight and oh? No, we're that's we're seven, right? It feels like I missed a game somewhere. I think it's seven. And thank you to Lego Master, who actually just donated Israeli shekels. Cool. I recognize this symbol. I still live there. Six, seven, eight. Uh, so Black IP. Wow, if he didn't have man, the nibble <laughs> feels bad, man. Uh, this definitely goes here. Gotta save the heights for the, uh... We, we actually want this gone. Not necessarily. Did he just California roll and get lightning bolt? Come on, man. Do you remember the frame up on Mino, yeah? Okay, so Abracadaver, Rat, Squirrel. If this is a rat, I'm gonna get jabated by putting it here. It's probably Abracadaver though, turn three gravestone. It can be loudmouth, which we don't want to. Abracadaver is not even that bad. So between rat and loudmouth, which we don't actually want hit, to get hit here, I'm, it's usually just loudmouth has to be the most common one. The other thing, the, the, besides for loudmouth, the most common one is actually jester, which we definitely don't want to hit. It's damn. Sort of had the call on him. It doesn't matter though, because it, it, it's not. It doesn't do enough. In fact, it's probably still better for this to die in the Captain Cucumber to live an extra turn and conjure an extra card. So, yeah, not, nothing really wrong with that. We're getting. We have to deal with it now. I might just blow it. I might not even be able to banana peel here. It'd be nice to get a half banana from this banana peel, man. But I, I think we just blow it. I can also just play this, too. 
Man. Th this has got to be right. Extinction event becomes extremely sad. But... This is what we're doing. For if we if he doesn't have an extinction event, it's just this is gonna be <laughs> chickening. This is just gonna be a very, very difficult game for this guy now. Cause let I me mean, look at our hand. It's just getting it's just getting insane. Three cost mechanolith. There's no card that Captain Cucumber gives you that isn't freaking broken, especially with the double. That's crazy, man. We have so many options. I can't do the peel. I guess we just go for bird. Probably. Another dab. It's gotta have a bungee or something. Bungee and then evaporate. Wow. If he hits the cucumber here, if he hits the burb, it's not as good because it doesn't kill it. It's still not terrible though. It's good value. He makes it within bungee plumber range. So he got that. Oof. And then he blocks. Why is he playing the backup dancers? I don't understand. Why would you play those? He's playing going for flamenco, maybe. I don't understand why he would play that. Hello, Flora. So, Colonel seems pretty solid. There's also... Five. Just for a lot of damage. It, probably just Colonel, right? Then we can go... On turn seven, we can do all this. It's weird, we don't have an amazing play here. This could be better next turn. We're at 14 health. I think this is right. It could be it's binary stars. I wouldn't be surprised if it was, you're right. I wouldn't be surprised. No! <laughs> it's... Uh, okay. Vitamin Z, Jester. Still pretty sad for turn six. Getting another superpower. Oh my gosh, we just got a uh, Gloom Shroom Synergy. <laughs> it's probably not gonna be good, but. Cool. We could go for it. This is five, six, seven, I suppose. Should I go for it? We can also just banana peel. It's probably better, right? So we play... Well, B-Rex just does more here, right? So we play B-Rex. And then we peel. This here. And then we play... You. And we play you. Looking pretty good. How you doing, mate? Doing pretty damn good. Pretty damn fine. Man, I love this beard. Oh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> he ain't surviving this turn, man. I don't think any of his power, even if he... Oh, no, that actually goes to seven. Thanks for giving us guaranteed lethal, bro. <laughs> I mean, it probably was guaranteed anyway, because this would have done six, and then he blocks the second shot. So then he's down to one health, and he has to deal with both of these with one superpower. It's guaranteed either way. Content. Not exactly a fail. So that's 8 and 0. <laughs> What's going on? Thank you to Black Mills for two months. Thank you so much for your kind words. So that settles the bets already. Heck yeah. Seventy-four. That is cute. Oh my gosh, that's really when you get two of these, it's insanity. Okay, we'll keep that. So the answer is yes. How many people? I didn't even look at that. Sixty-four percent voted yes for this. Wow. Um, 
Oh boy. Okay, so you don't actually play these until he until he commits something. So we'll see. Uh, okay. Well, we're gonna have to play them later. Cryolith. These aren't really good cards against Rustle. Maybe I should have considered what if he plays slow. I guess that's the problem with Half Banana. Is that if they pass, it just sucks big time. A flower. I'd love to see him play a minion here. Instead of a, you know, weed spray or something. It's alright. Uh, we got Weenie Beanie, let's go. Mayflower OP. Stomp it on, jeez. Really have no way of going after that. Spam Weenie Beanie. Is that the first Mayflower of the whole stream? I think it was. Can we get something good? Okay. Okay, he gets a stomping on deck. This might be the best thing. Such good thing. Rar. Oh my gosh, look at these half bananas. Though. It's crazy. Uh, we're milled. La di da di da. Should, I, I, maybe I should have just plant food in this one. I don't know, man. It's not it's so much damage, too. I don't think we're gonna win this anymore, guys. Just this feeling I got. I don't I think Brainana is just too slow here, unfortunately. It plays around one going viral. Even around two, because he's just not going to be able to do enough damage now. Texa. I think this is still winnable. He doesn't have... He's not running Rolling Stones and stuff. He just hasn't had them, so... Canalith is, is really going to flip this in our favor. He's gonna have a lot of really good cards in his hand as long as he doesn't have a way to frenzy that teacher That that's gonna that would kill us. That doesn't do anything here So if Canalith is saving us against Rust Bolt, unbelievable It still doesn't, it doesn't do anything Rockets, okay, so he's doing three it's Better than nothing Um, something tells me Brainana is going to be really good now. Brainana into Espresso. I think it's. Oh, I think we're going to be okay here. He can't frenzy this, so we can actually chump block this with a Weenie Beanie. So it's going to be Brainana here, and then either Weenie Beanie or just Mars, and then Espresso comes next turn. I think this Brainana is going to win the game, guys. 
That's okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what's in his hands. As long as he can't make these guys frenzy, we are 100% safe. This Brainana wins us the game, guys. Look at this. This has got to be right. Is there any reason to play this over the Weenie Beanie? It doesn't really matter, right? We're just going to Espresso this one. No! Oh, the teacher! Oh, we lost! Never mind! <laughs> we had him! We had that guy. We had that guy. Completely we had him. He would have been down to nine. We would have been doing five damage, two five damage bonus attacks. We would have we'll probably would have won. The Brainana itself was also a huge threat. He had a zero cost chop for the win. I can't believe that, man. Oh, come on. See, Bra See Brainana's not even that good. There was no way to play around that. No, there's no way. That was crazy. He's been holding that chop for so long, too. I didn't even think of it. The zero cost chop. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Oofers. <sighs> Bro. <Bruh. laughs> that should probably go in the fail comp, right? Um, let's look for just more early. That's really strong. I think I get rid of one of these. It's a little overkill. The one drops. Oh no, you play Lime in there. Duh, whoop. Okay. Well, we can always play a double this turn. We'll be okay. Uh. Did I not settle the betting? I did. This should be fine. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be crazy. Well, we'll see what we get. I, we have to kind of play both of these now anyway. It's a little sad not to get the one cost 3-3, three, three, but we have to do this. In case it's a swashbuckler. It means our brain now has a 6-5, so it's like such an insane finisher now. And they slowed him down. He has a 2-1 on the field. We're okay. We also got extra stonks. Gosh. This is not... Uh, I don't know, man. What would we go after? I guess this one, right? If we happen to get something. No, uh, we're we're our curve. We're just breaking. We have so much early game. We just bricked hard, and we needed the the half banana. Give us not exactly banana. We need something cheaper. Even a B Rex would have been would have won this trade here. Now, this is gonna be really hard. What was I about to write? The fail count. This is rough. This tank, this tanklosaurus is really rough indeed. Watch say. So what we want is to block and get him big in, I suppose. No. Nope. I don't know, man. 
We're rolling a lot of ones, but this is so rough. When face for four. Uh, okay. Can you pass? If he passes, we're fine. Shark. Not fine. We have to get rid of this, right? The black IP doesn't kill it, but maybe I should be setting up my own tempo. I probably should, right? Um, this is so weird, but this is my play. This is my truth. Infinity clones on the block doesn't really do enough. We have to just try to try to rush this and win now. We're not really gonna be able to outvalue him with the shark on the field. Stru oh no! Okay, well this does four strength wins. God damn it! Was that a misplay? I mean, I could have played Burb here, but then I would have absolutely no way of winning the next turn, and he'll have a lot of ways of winning. Uh, you know, maybe you play around strength. All right, well, <laughs> this deck just crashed and burned the last two games. This was a really, really fun stream. This deck really did well. I don't, I don't know if I misplayed that last game. I mean, should I have played around? He played Bird, so then I won't have a Bananasaurus Rex. The Bird dies. He doesn't have that, so he'll have a Shark, and he'll still have a 2-1, and, and we'll have one health because he'll still play the Strength. So we'll have one health and no field against a 5-1 and a 7-2. And a Two, maybe or an eight-two actually, and he he has to do one more damage. He would have also had twelve health, but uh, I don't. I think that Yolo play even even considering strength winning is still correct. Not gonna lie, but anyway, guys, that was the banana burp. This was really really fun. I, okay, was the banana synergy enough? I feel like that's the thing. The half banana. If you're against a fast deck, and you can play the half bananas on turn one and then it dies and the second one's a one cost three three and then you also have a lima plurid on the play i feel like then it's insane but really against any opponent who passes turn one and especially if they pass turns one and two the half bananas were not good enough they really were not but the captain cucumbers the burbs and the brainanas and the b rat everything else just really really got it done i feel like the, the mars fly trap too it's definitely a card i want to try some more uh, so maybe instead of half banana, you just run like click bees in this deck. But uh, that, that was a really exceedingly fun stream. Highlight build. That's what I'm talking about. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. This is Fry.